This first product update for March 2023 is a really exciting one for me, Aditya, because we are now not only being able to crop to specific objects and images. This is something that Cloudinary has done for many years. But now we can actually detect certain objects in videos and being able to crop and focus on those particular objects. As you can see here, with being able to not just focus on the most interesting part of an overall video, like we have with our G auto transformation, automatic gravity. But now we can say, focus on something like the ball or the dog or the car and being able to make sure that then the focus is on that particular object. Am I understanding this correctly? That's correct, Sam. And to just add a little bit more context to what you covered, um, so today, smartphones account for almost 75% of e-commerce uh, site visit and close to 65% of all the order purchases. So needless to say, a lot of e-commerce customers uh, care about adapting their video experiences to the smartphone or the mobile channel. And this means many a times cropping the video uh, to maintain focus on the desired object, especially when it's uh, viewed in a portrait mode on the mobile device. So we have an interesting innovation here that we're going to talk about uh, on using AI and automation to uh, crop that video and maintain focus on the desired object. And I love this focus on the mobile audience, because as you're saying here, when you're trying to highlight a certain product, maybe it's a, like a piece of apparel, maybe it's a certain object, as you mentioned, like the ball, maybe you want to be focusing on that brand, maybe you're actually selling the ball. A lot of the times when these types of purchasing decisions are taking place where people really want to see that content, it is typically happening on the mobile device. So many more purchases are happening there as you're highlighting. So I really love that this innovation is one, showing the real AI capabilities that Cloudinary continues to completely invest into. But it also is really emphasizing how if you have a mobile audience that is primarily looking at your content to be able to make purchasing decisions and are driven in, in terms of the e-commerce delivery, um, this is a great transformation for you to be taking a look at here. Yeah, and the AI-based video cropping is a capability we've introduced a few years ago, actually. But the way it works or used to work previously is the algorithm would try and identify the most interesting object in the video and then crop around that. With this latest innovation, we are offering customers the ability actually now to specify the desired object around which they want to crop the video and then maintain the focus on that. So um, let me share a simple example. Let's say um, we have a model that is wearing sunglasses and a handbag. And uh, so the, both these uh, products that the, the particular brand sells, and they want to create two different video variations out of that same original video one in which they want to put the focus on the, the sunglasses and the other one in which they want to put the focus on the, the, uh, the handbag. With the AI-based video cropping and auto gravity for objects, they can now specify the object as, let's say, sunglasses or handbag and get two different variations of that same video cropped around those two different objects. This is a massive, massive time saver for many of our customers who can now basically have just one original video produced and then easily create variations using our AI-based uh, and URL-based approach. And I mean, you, you're 100% right that the time saving is truly there because all you're now doing is making sure you have the G-Auto transformation there and all you're doing is slightly changing what is happening with the variant. So instead of purse, you're able to focus on another object. And instead of having to manually crop every single piece and say, is this insured? With AI, it's making sure that everything is there, completely there. So you have one single source of truth for that video. And then you have maybe 10 or 12 different versions. 
they're focusing on the various objects that happen to be in that video, if I'm fully understanding what you're saying. Yeah, that's right. And um, an additional investment we've done is now um, the algorithm can even detect um, less than a pixel size and crop based on that. So as the transition happens, as the frames get adjusted, uh, it's a much smoother and more fluid transition. Uh, so we are really perfected this uh, video cropping capability and enhanced it to meet the needs of our customers. Well, I, Aditi, I think that's an amazing segue over to our friend Paul here who can give us a demonstration of this because I want to see how seamlessly this actually happens. So, Paul, let's give a quick demonstration of what Aditi just showed and talked to us about with Giotto and being able to detect the objects. Yeah, sounds good. So, I, mean, I want to expand on the idea that um, Aditi had talking about, you know, maybe like a fashion or a, a e-commerce site clothing store or something that we have a couple of objects um, that could be detected in a video and just zooming in on one of those, maybe making two videos out of one if you're doing it on a product detail page or for a mobile site, something like that. So this is a video that um, it's uh, two fashion models uh, from I got it on Pexels, was pretty good uh, demonstration. Um, man and a woman wearing very different uh, outfits. So if I wanted to say, say I'm a company, I want to take this video. I really like this video. I want to create two um, separate product detail page videos out of it. Then all I have to do is use that G auto object. So here, if you look, I've simply put in same video. Um, I've added a bit of a cropping to this. Um, this could be a mobile or maybe a product detail page type of crop. And all of paths along is this G auto blouse command. And that's going to detect the blouse that the woman's wearing. And it's going to create this video out of the original. So it's going to keep the focus on her. It's going to um, create this output that you can now use in, um, you know, from your source video in this product's detail page. Same thing on the jacket. Let's say I want to focus on jacket. Same thing. I'm just passing G auto on G auto colon jacket. And it's created this uh, video of the man wearing the jacket. It's just gone ahead and created this crop, the same dimensions. You could change the dimensions on this. It's still going to find that um, object that you're detecting. And just for, you know, uh, fun, I, I put in Giotto clock and it's actually able to detect that clock. So if you're selling, maybe you're selling the clock in, in, in addition to the jacket, but um, you can do that as well. So it's able to actually find that clock and just wanted to give a bit of background, the technical background on this. This is all based on this um, image categorization model, uh, it's a data set called the Large Vocabulary Instance Segmentation, or Elvis for short. It's about 1,200 product categories, or uh, object categories, I should say, that can be detected. Um, this is linked from our documentation. So if you're in the documentation, want to read up on um, you know, how this works, that's great. But if you want to take an even deeper dive, the link is there to this Elvis model. You can come in here and, and understand how this works. And this is the basis for what we're detecting. And again, it's 1200 plus categories that it can detect. That is truly, truly incredible. And I would say the nice thing about this, what I've been seeing with a lot of these data driven sets that are like the one that you're showing from Elvis is that they continue to add. So if there ever is a case where someone says, but can it detect this? And maybe it can't be detected at this exact same moment. And I would also challenge that because this is a huge data set there's always more getting added to these areas. So I would say that as data sets like this continue to evolve, this overall implementation that we have from Cloudinary can also evolve with it. So this is a great, great opportunity to really make an investment into focusing on object detection in your videos.